Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale, bringing you with me to a thrift store that um, is about 25 minutes away from me, um, and they are doing a, their monthly, that's just my cousin, don't think that, <laughs> don't think that the lady just cut me off. Um, I went there with my cousin, it's about 25 minutes from me, and they do a monthly 50% off the entire store and they bring out a ton of stuff to the street. So um, here we are. I'm looking for mostly stuff for my antique booth, but um, I will you know, get a couple things to list on eBay. So if you see me pass things up, it's just because I don't wanna list them. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, antique booth stuff. So I'm looking through the clothes. I didn't really find too much. The clothes, the clothing here, um, the brands aren't really like, too high-end and a lot of the clothing is dated but I just wanted to kind of show you guys all the stuff that they had Their shoes are also usually very dated, but I just wanted to see. They had a lot of Gloria Vanderbilt, I think, brand, which I believe is just Walmart. That brand there, BDG, usually does pretty well. I believe it's an Urban Outfitters brand, um, but those black jeans were very faded, so I passed. I was gonna get this little um, hula dancer, but I don't think it was like the older style, like the vintage ones, and um, she had a little bit of damage on her, so she stayed. I thought that might have been Yankee Candle. Their stuff uh, resells for a pretty, pretty decent amount of money. Loved that mug, 50 cents. Love my cheese shakers too. <laughs> I had to go grab a basket because um, I, couldn't, I couldn't hold everything and film at the same time. So right there I got a basket. Those glasses that you see to the top left those are vintage, but they are literally a dime a dozen. They're, the market is flooded with them. Um, they just don't do very well resale. Um, I was gonna get this. I believe that's like the friendship pattern or something like that for Corning, but it didn't have the lid, so I passed.
That tea kettle I was looking to see if it was Tivana because that company is no longer in business. However, people still really like the brand and um, look out for it. So if you do find anything Tivana, definitely pick it up to resell. I also hung around this table a little bit because the, there was a lady in front of me on the other side of the table talking to me and my cousin. So while we were talking, I was just kind of putzing around <laughs> on the table. I loved these mirrors, but the one on the left was all broken in the glass on top, and that one had a couple cracks in the, um, the frame. I loved this desk, it was so cute, but it had a lot of damage. And my cousin was looking at that. It was very pretty, like a little armoire type of thing. I think they only wanted like 15 bucks for it. Well, 30, but then half off. And then I caught that chair to my left. It was so pretty. I loved the carving on the top. Um, they wanted, I think 75. Um, so even at half price, I think that's still a little high. And make sure after this video, um, the next day, I will be posting the haul video. So make sure you stay tuned for that so you can see everything that I picked up. And here um, in front of me was that same lady that was talking to us. Uh, so I was kind of just lallygagging while we were talking. I was gonna get this, um, I guess it's like a little fruit pedestal thing, but it had a lot of damage on it. I thought that was really pretty. I'm like, what else can I film while I'm talking? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I looked at that in the, la the last time I was at this store. There's a piece of black glass or amethyst glass. These are the shirts that the thrift store offers um, as like a donation. It, they were $15, not, they're not eligible for the half price. So I did pick one up to show some support. I loved that ornament for some reason. I thought it was so pretty. For 50 cents, yes please. Here I'm just looking at a lot of Christmas related stuff. I really liked the Santa on the moon. I thought it was different. Uh, I was gonna get it, but he had a chip on his nose and yeah, I put him back. <laughs> I got one of these. It's like a little teacup with a dog in it. I thought they were so cute. Ornament, new in package for a dollar. So now we're gonna go inside and it's very 
packed um, people wise and product wise <laughs> so we had to do a lot of maneuvering and I had to shut the camera off a bunch of times and start again it was definitely a challenge so we started all the way in the back because there was the least amount of people We were pointing out stuff that were that was here from the previous weekend we were here. Um, they had a $5 bag sale for clothing and shoes. And then today it was, everything was half off the whole store. I'm like, ooh, I like that face. <laughs> I'll take you for two dollars. And I was trying to look at all these vases, but look at how tight the aisles were. <laughs> I honestly, I couldn't even get down them without being afraid that I was gonna like elbow something behind me. So I kind of just like poked in and looked at different things. I put a lot back because there were little dings or chips or paint loss or something, so. I wanted to get that, but the top of it, like the rim had little, what we call flea bites, which are just like little teeny itty bitty little chips like all around the rim, but I didn't feel comfortable buying it with the damage. I just was showing you guys a chip. I was gonna get it and then I saw the chip on it. <laughs> Another chip. I had to like back out of the aisle. <laughs> and then pick up my extremely heavy basket. They have those marked at like 35 bucks, it's crazy. Down that, um, down that hallway was uh, the clothes, like the more rooms of clothing. We were trying to figure out if the jewelry was included with a 50% off or not. Um, I believe it ended up being 50% off, but I don't think, I, I mean, I, don't, I didn't really like anything enough to get it. I thought that thing was pretty cool until I saw a crack on it. Right there. I wasn't really sure what those were, but they were made out of wood.
this whole wall is like all their little like tchotchkes and figurines and I love looking at everything and there's so much of it like I <laughs> I filmed this and then I went back and looked through it again off camera and then right before we left I looked through it again because there's just so much stuff That's just my cousin. <laughs> we were trying to get out of these peop the people's way to our left, but they weren't moving. And I didn't know if they wanted to go past us. And then I knocked over all those DVDs. <laughs> And I didn't know what these were. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Those. So obviously that part right there is an ornament, but what is the base? Like, why is there a base? And they looked like little lambs. I don't really know. Just checking for chips or cracks. I think that guy was a vintage um, cigarette holder. Not really sure. A lot of those little figurines down there were made out of resin, and I'm not really a fan of that type of figurine. Loved this retro restaurant napkin holder. Then down here, I like plowed into all these salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Okay guys, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the haul video.